I am excited. I get to come back on YouTube. Thank you so much for waiting for me, you guys. It's been crap. And this is the reason why I have not been able to get on YouTube in a while. One moment, please. Let's try this again. Hey, I'm so excited because I am able to come back and talk to you all. Um, it's been a while because you know what's going on around here. Um, this coronavirus is no joke, um, but I'm thankful and I'm blessed because I am still here. And in all of this, you guys know that I've been really focusing on Ephesians 4 and 8. And it tells you to um, whatever is pure, whatever is love, whatever is righteous, whatever is right, whatever is perfect. That's what you think of those things. And now I know why God put that on my heart. So um, in these times and days, we've got to think positive. So let's get started. Let me tell you what I've been doing. Absolutely nothing. Um <laughs> No, um, I have been, I'm very fortunate to be able to work from home. I am in the financial industry. So we are considered an essential business. Um, we have to keep the banks open for you guys. I think you guys would be very upset if we did not stay open. Um, I will tell you that my self-care has been down the window as it pertains to going to get my hair done as you can see it is looking awful um nails and waxes and all that good stuff so i'm coming in as pure as i can be this is me okay so what have i been doing and what I, what why am i talking to you i'm talking to you all because i want to share with you some tips of the trade of what i've been doing um with the coronavirus um even though the coronavirus has hit us, I want you to know that I'm still focused on my goal in becoming debt free and what I'm doing with the extra money of not eating out with the extra, our stimulus package money, um, the bare little bit I got back from taxes wasn't much because I believe that you should have your money throughout the year as opposed to kind of saving it for a bigger tax, um, tax refund. Some people do it the opposite way around. It just, it, whatever floats your boat. Um, so the first thing I've done is I've rearranged my office so that way I could become more comfortable working from home because I will, it's going to be a while before I go back in the office and it's probably going to be the same way for you all. And I realized that some people are not as fortunate and they had to, um, they had to get laid off. They don't have a job right now because of it. So I, I want to say that I'm thinking of you, I'm praying for you. Um, keep your head up. I'm very happy to hear that the government is at least trying to help. Um, whether it is enough for you or not, just know that I'm thinking and I'm sending prayers your way, truly. Um, but I'm going to insert this video of how I kind of rearranged my, my workspace because now that my children are not able to go to school, we use one desk is being used by two people, my son and, and myself. Um, so we had to make it work. So I rearranged some furniture. So I'm going to insert it here and then come back to you. So this is one end of my office. Um, it does have one chair. It's a decorative chair. And then on the other end, you'll see is one desk um, from Ashley's Furniture. Uh, one side is for my son and the other side is for myself. Um, and as you can see, we do have two windows there and the blinds, uh, yeah, we have to work on that. So that's gonna be an, um, a DIY project, a very inexpensive one. But this is how I transformed my office, so. Yeah. So as you can see, we have some home improvements that we need because that blind does not look good at all. So we are going to um, blinds.com, www.blinds.com, and we're going to order two blinds because I just feel like I want to be very comfortable in my spot. Not only that, the chair is not very comfortable. So I did order a new chair, which I've gotten from Wayfair. And I'm going to include the picture either here or here, somewhere around here. I'll include the picture. I'm excited. That's coming on Friday. And I will tell you the refresh. I will show you the refresh look. Um, the second thing, investment. So um, with all of the extra money that we've gotten from no t um, not having to pay for, a babe, um, for school um, and for gas and things of that nature, we've been investing in the stock market. Because the whole thing about when the stock market crashes is to buy, buy, buy. And so we've um, invested a little bit, not a lot. Um, well, to us is a lot, but to others it may be, you know, a little. Um, and the um, a stock 
uh, that is in the the um, airlines industry because we know once this is all passed over, the airlines will go back up. Um, so we invested in a Boeing stock. It has um, dropped tremendously. Um, and it probably will still continue to drop. So we've invested in that. We've invested in Royal Caribbean um, cruise lines. Of course, no one's on a cruise right now, but we think they are a substantial company and they will bounce back up once all this is over. Um, and then we've also invested in, I think there's a third stock. No, those are the only two that we invested in. We also have not stopped investing in our children's 529 plans. And then I have my own personal um, mutual fund that I've just put a little bit in each month. Not a lot, from $100 to $200 a month. Um, but we're continuing to invest in our inv individual mutual funds and our 401k plans. We have not taken out of our 401k because that means we will have an actualized loss. If we take it out now, then we've had a loss. But if we keep it in there... Um, we can continue to ride the market. And it's, even though it's drip, um, dipped, it doesn't mean we've taken the loss. You only take the loss once you take that money out. So keep it in there, you guys. Keep it in there. Um, I've been cooking a lot. You can also see my um, my video, my last video that I've um, put up about me cooking. So all in all, I've just been really staying positive. Um, I've been thinking about you all. Um, I want to come back now that I have a little bit more time and I want to show you some of the upgrades, very cheap upgrades um, and projects that we're completing around the house. Um, and I want you to, I just want to take you along with the journey. Now, again, this is not to say that you may not have the financial means to do it right now because of what's going on. And I do not recommend you to go out and buy anything. Everything I'm doing is being shipped and then we are sanitizing it, keep it in the garage for a few days before we even start the project. But, um, these are things that for if you do have a little bit of money to make your life a little bit more comfortable um, while you're working from home or while you are trying to um, adjust to the new norm, then these will, will help you along the way. Again, these are things that are very affordable that can help you. So if you like what you've heard, if you want to come along the journey with me, uh, with my investments, come along in the journey with... Um, um, these DIY projects, please come back. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you subscribe and leave a comment. What are you doing during this time? Keep us all motivated. We need to hear from you. All right. Peace.